Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to be wherever you are on your wealth journey right now. Well, it's New Year's Eve and tonight we finally get to say goodbye to 2020. Hurrah! And today I want to talk about creating a vision board for the new year. 2021 hopefully will be better than 2020, but we really want to kickstart it and get ourselves off to the best start we possibly can. Now, in order to create a vision board, you kind of need to know what your goals are. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago about the difference between goals and having a New Year's resolution in place. So I'll pop that video just up here. So do watch that one if you're not sure yet about what your goals are, because that may well help you. If you do know what your goals are, then you can obviously create your vision board to support them. Now, once we know what our goals are, normally we would write them down. It might be that you're not the sort of person that likes to write things down. You like to keep everything up here. And that's kind of OK as well, as long as you know what your goals are. But the best thing to do is to write them down and then to create your vision board to support exactly what you've written. You're much more likely to smash your goals if you've written them down. And you're also much more likely to smash them if you've got your vision board in place as well. Now your vision board is the visual representation of your goals, of what you want to achieve for the next year. Or it might be a longer term goal plan than that. It might be that you have a 10 year or 20 year goal plan. And it might also be that you have shorter term goals within that as well. Your vision board can cover everything. And the idea behind your vision board is that you find pictures. It can be pictures from magazines or pictures that you found online, or it might just be pictures that you've drawn yourself. And these pictures represent the goals that you've written down. Now, there are several different ways that you can create your vision board. You can can start with just a blank A4 sheet of paper if you want to and cut out pictures and stick them all onto there. I've certainly done ones that way before that I've then put up on my wall so that I can look at them all the time. I've also done digital ones so I've created them online or using an app and I've then be been able to transpose them and put them as my computer screensaver or as a background on my mobile phone. So you can do lots of different things with this. Don't feel constrained to the fact that you have to just do one thing. You could do a combination of everything if you wanted to as well. I have to say though that out of all the vision boards I've ever done my most successful vision board was the one that I created at the beginning of 2017 and it was one that I drew by hand. Now my drawing is terrible it's all stick people and things like that but that was the most successful one and I'm going to share that with you at the end of this video so do stick around to the end and have a look at what happened there. For today's vision board I'm going to use my shiny new Freedom Mastery Law of Attraction planner and I did a video on this one a few weeks ago as well so do have a watch of that one. Been a very popular video this one you guys are really enjoying this planner which I'm really glad about so we're going to open it up to there's a special page that actually folds out in here which actually has a vision board created on it and we can just stick whatever we want to onto these sheets now obviously if you don't have a planner like mine you can just use an a4 sheet or any of the other ways that we've talked about pop it online pop it on your laptop whatever the best thing is for you but for me I'm going to pop it in here for now because that way I can then carry it around with me if I'm going anywhere during the course of the year I've always got this I'm going to use this planner on a daily basis so I'm always going to be opening this and looking at it every single day because the whole point of creating a vision board is that you do then continue to look at it because that really then cements in your brain the fact that these are what your goals are this is the way you want to live your life and this is how you want things to be now another thing that's important to remember when creating your vision board is that the images that you choose don't have to mean anything to anybody else as long as the images mean something to you and they correlate and represent your goals that you've already written down then that's perfectly okay they don't need to mean anything to anybody else nobody else ever even needs to see your vision board if you don't want them to now I've got a couple of sheets of images that I've created here and I actually did these on Canva so Canva is a very useful online application I use it for all sorts of things from creating YouTube thumbnails to creating Facebook posts all kinds of different things there is a free version and a paid for version I personally use the paid for version but that's purely because I use it for so many different things nothing wrong at all with the free version so do go and check that out and I'll put a link in the description just underneath this video one of the reasons I really like Canva is that they have a big good variety of free images so that's why I like it because you can just pop the images into your creation and just download it from there so very very easy to do rather than picking Picking everything off Google Images where sometimes you're not quite sure about the copyright and so on. So I really like to use Canva for that. You of course can create your images however you want to. Before I had Canva what I would normally do is to get the images just screenshot them and then put them into a Word document and print them out that way. So whatever is easiest for you you can do whatever you feel is best. So once I've got my images the first thing I want to do is to cut them out. 
and then I can start placing them onto my vision board. Now, if you remember from my video on goals, there are quite a few different areas of your life that you want to be creating visions and goals for. So the first area of my life that I'm gonna look at is the spiritual area. And I've got a picture of my church here because I'm very heavily involved with my church. So I'm gonna pop that on there. And I also want to continue to sing in my church choir. So I've got a picture of my choir there as well. Now, obviously this is stuff that I'm already doing, but I'm hoping to kind of enhance and do a bit more next year or, you know, just keep doing what I'm already doing because it makes me feel good. And for me, spirituality, that's what it's all about. You know, it's making myself feel good. And it's also about helping other people and giving back. Certainly giving to charity, donating more, also giving my own time and helping people more as well. So I've got this lovely set of hands here, creating a love heart, and that represents me making a difference and helping other people. So all of those are gonna go in my spiritual area on my vision board. We then have personal development goals. So yours can be whatever you want them to be. Now I've got some education in here. I'm gonna try and read a book a week next year. We'll see how that pans out. I definitely do need to read a lot more though and also watch a lot more YouTube videos as well. Not only does that help with my own education but it also helps me to improve the videos that I put out for you guys too so that's very very helpful for me. So educating myself around all of those things is helpful. Uh, relationship goals. Now my relationships are all pretty good with both my friends, family, husband etc. That's all going well. Um, but what I do want to do is to be a little bit more on the ball and ready for my friends when they need me. I'd like to be able to send a lot more birthday cards this year just so that people know that I'm there for them and I also want to be able to call people up a lot more often and speak to people. You know I've got friends that I've not spoken to for sort of six seven months and despite lockdown and everything else I think that's really poor of me not to be able to keep in touch so I really do want to do a lot more of that kind of thing this year. But think about the kinds of relationships you want with people. Who are the people you want to focus on this year? And maybe create some goals and visions around them. Then we have career and business goals. Now, obviously this year has been a real nightmare for a lot of people with careers, businesses, work, whatever. Lots of people being made redundant, being furloughed, all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, a lot of people not surviving. And we've seen a lot of disruption around people's careers and their businesses. So 2021 is gonna be a great time to really focus on some career and business goals and put these down in your vision board. For me personally, one of my biggest goals in 2021 is to monetize this YouTube channel. Now, it's not always easy to monetize a YouTube channel. I started this on the 28th of April this year, and this week on Tuesday, we actually hit 600 subscribers, which I'm really, really pleased about and very grateful to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. So thank you very much for doing that. And in order to monetize a YouTube channel, you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So that is a lot of watch time. Now, so far, I've got just over 600 subscribers now, and I think we've got about 1,800 watch hours. So I'm under, under halfway still on the hours side, but over half way on the subscribers and my goal is that from a, a year from when I started so by the 28th of April 2021 that is my, when I would ideally like to have monetized this YouTube channel whether it happens or not I don't know but it's certainly been written down as a goal and it's going on my vision board today so thank you so much for continuing to support the channel it's been absolutely fantastic and I'm really really enjoying it and I hope that you are too so I've got here, this is my tube buddy. I've obviously doctored this. So it says a thousand subscribers by the 28th of April, which is what my goal is. And obviously I need that. Plus I need my 4,000 hours of watch time. So I'm gonna put all of that onto my vision board as one of my career and business goals. Obviously property is my thing. So I want to buy some more property this year. So I've put some houses on my vision board as well. And I also, this house with the hand, I also need to overpay my residential mortgage by at least eight thousand pounds this coming year uh, and that's important to me to get the mortgage down in time to change the um, interest rate at the end of the year so I do need to do that so that is quite a big goal I'm not quite sure where the money for that is going to come from yet but obviously you put it on your vision board and that is the whole point the money will come from somewhere so that is going on there as well then in terms of health goals, um, I'm not really on a lot weight loss thing at the moment for reasons that will become obvious in a moment, but I do want to eat a lot more healthily. So that is one thing that I'm going to be definitely doing next year is to be eating a lot, lot more fruit and vegetables than I do at the moment. I also want to go on a lot more walks. I'm trying to walk at least once a day at the moment, but it's not always happening. Um, obviously we've got 
Tico and he's very helpful for that um, but I'm not always going out and walking and I do want to make sure that I do that so having the planner having my goal in place will hopefully spur me on to be able to go and do that walk just a circuit of the park every single day. Then we have free time and family goals. Now there is one thing that is going to dominate my 2021 when it comes to family goals. I'm not going to have very much free time come the middle of next year because the stalk is coming. We are expecting our first baby in May and it's really really exciting time. Hence my goals may seem this year a little bit small to some of you but this is the major thing that is happening in our life right now and I need to concentrate on that. So it's something that I've wanted for a very long time and as you'll see from my vision board that I'm going to show you in a minute from 2017 um, you can see how long we've kind of been waiting and wanting this so it's going to be really cool really exciting now once you've put everything in position on your vision board you can then just glue it on and then don't forget to look at it every single day doesn't matter if when you've glued them on they're overlapping or anything like that it's perfectly okay as I said it doesn't need to mean anything to anybody else as long as it means something to you and then the idea is that you look at it every single day because that really then cements all the goals that you've chosen to do and it enables the universe to know that that's exactly what you're looking for. That's what you want in your life and the universe will then help you to find things to come your way to achieve all of those goals. Now one thing I will say is it's very 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 important to be as specific as you can when creating your goals and creating your vision board. Now I can show you a good example of this by sharing my 2017 vision board with you. Now this is actually a goal map that I did in conjunction with a chap called Brian Main and if nobody's come across Brian Main before I'll put his uh, website in the description underneath this video because he is super brilliant on all things goal setting, all things vision boarding, all of that kind of good stuff and he's created this goal mapping system. I've been working closely with Brian for the last few years and I really really like his goal mapping system and the way that you do it is you start off with your big goal in the middle of your vision board effectively and my big goal for 2017 was I am abundant. Okay so this is the picture that I drew and we can see here that it's just stick people and as I say stick people are perfectly okay. This was my most successful goal map. So let's have a look and see. So obviously I'm the one sitting on the chair in the middle there and I've got muscles on my arms because I'm a strong woman. I've also got green things all around me. So the little green lines are piles of paper money all over the place. And then on the table in front of me, we can see little lines representing gold coins. So that's actually actual coin money sitting all over the place because I am abundant. So I'm abundant in money, obviously. I've got my laptop in front of me there with money coming into my bank account as well. And we're also abundant in love. So this is represents myself and my family. Now, beginning of 2017, I didn't have a dog. I didn't have kids. I did have the husband, but I didn't have the house that's in the picture on the left hand side there. And I certainly didn't have that much money at the time. So we've now got an abundance of love. Everybody's got little love hearts above their head. So we've all got abundance in that. And we've also got, obviously, my husband there, um, our fluffy dog, who we didn't have at the time. And I've got two children represented there. Now, it says I'm abundant. And the, the goal date that I set for this particular vision board was the 2nd of December 2020. So that is the beginning of this month. And... The 2nd of December was my 40th birthday. So this was done at the beginning of 2017. So it's 2017, 2018, 2019, all of 2020. So it's about four years, this particular goal map. And we can see that I've got the picture of the house and I've also got a little picture in the background hanging on the wall there of some palm trees and four people enjoying what looks like some time on a beach or with some water or something like that. It's basically, a picture to represent a foreign holiday of some kind. And what happened with this was that this goal map was created in February 2017 when I didn't have the dog, the kids, the house, anything like that. And from the moment I started creating this vision map, everything then started happening. So we now have our dog Tico and he's just lovely. He's the one that comes for the walks with me all the time. We also have the house that I've shown you in several other videos that I've done as well. Now the house we currently live in is five bedroom detached house. When I wrote this vision board originally in 2017, my husband and I were living in a two bedroom flat, not too far from here, only about a mile away, but it was tiny compared with the house that we're in now. And 
We didn't really know how we were going to achieve this, how we were going to get this big house or anything like that, but we knew that if we put it on the vision board, it would eventually happen. And that happened probably the fastest out of everything that happened on this particular one, because this was done in the February. Um, we actually completed and moved in here on the 9th of August. So that was a really, really quick turnaround for everything to happen in terms of looking for a house, finding one, buying one, getting the money together, all of that kind of good stuff. It really did happen quite miraculously, but that's exactly why we have a vision board in place. Things that seem impossible actually become possible because you've got this in place. And the reason I say you want to be specific is because of this. In fact, I was, once I'd created this vision board and I'd moved into the new house, I was actually presenting on this at the end of 2017. It was probably about December time, around Christmas. And a colleague of mine, Sonia, she looked at the picture that I'd drawn here and she also looked at the photograph of the house that we live in. And she said to me, my goodness, Olivia, she said, have you seen what you've done here? She said, look at the house that you've drawn and look at the house that you now live in. So I took a closer look and I thought, OK, the house that I've drawn here, it's got a roof. It's got three windows on the top floor. It's got two windows either side of a front door and a garden path. I then looked at the house that we currently live in now and it's got a roof, it's got three windows at the top, it's got two windows either side of a front door and a garden path. How amazing is that? So this is what I'm saying, it pays to be specific. If you're not very specific, so for example, my generic photograph of a foreign holiday with four people and a couple of palm trees and some kind of watery background. If we go forward to last year, this was 2019, the holiday that we took in February, this was a photograph that my husband snapped of myself, two of my sisters and my mum. And we were all in a swimming pool, but can you see it looks very, very similar to the photograph that I drew on my vision board with the palm trees in the background, the water, the four people, people, it's all there. So you need to be as specific as you possibly can when it comes to doing your vision board. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys. Do give me a thumbs up underneath if you have enjoyed it today. And, you know, if you want to share some of your goals with me, you know, what, what are you going to achieve in 2021? Drop me a comment underneath this video. Don't forget as well to watch these two videos up next because they will definitely help with your wealth journey. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And thanks ever so much for watching this one, guys. Have a fantastic new year and I will see you next week next year. Here's to 2021.